So I did a tour to Mount Fuji for a mini hike. I've done the whole mountain before, but not this time. This time we're just going from one station to the next, which is a short hike, but here we go. So today we are climbing Mount Fuji just from five to six. But first we stop at the Fuji Sun Museum. So I'm gonna do a quick brief viewing of this before we head out. So this place was pretty cool. It had a lot of art, a lot of history. It was great to read. Of course, they had it in like three or four different languages. And we were able to actually walk on the floor. That was a map. And we can walk the direction of how to get up the mountain. I thought that was pretty cool. But we learned a lot in here. It was kind of just a time for us to waste time until the mountain actually opened for us to travel up. I think I like this place a lot because number one, I have actually been up the mountain, but it really looks like this. And especially in this place right here, the mountain has so many different types of soils, so many different sceneries as you're going up. The weather, when I did it before, we started off with tank tops and shorts. When we got to the top, we had on gloves, we had on heavy coats, rain jackets. It was definitely four seasons on that mountain in the same day. But this right here shows you the different types of gravel. It shows you different types of sand, which is probably the same thing, but it looked totally different like every hour. As you ascended, everything changed. This model right here was pretty cool. I felt like I had to take a video of this because it shows all the way around the mountain. This was my golden ticket. This is the beginning. And those horses are like ambulance. When I climbed before, I actually seen someone getting rescued by the people and horses. This is the beginning. We were dry, we were full of energy. It was fun. We're hiking. We started at five. <laughs> They have these stations as you're walking up the mountain where people put stamps on your walking stick to showcase where you have been and how far you're up. And my stick is completed from three years ago. I definitely included that at the end of this video. Of course we didn't need it on this short hike. But as you're walking up, they actually have these cans of oxygen that you can purchase to use as you're walking up because of course your oxygen level decreases. They also had some spots where you can stop and buy ramen, but that's farther up the mountain. We didn't hike that long, so we didn't see all of these stations, but we did make it to station number six, where they have um, a visitor's desk, restrooms, and we had some cool pictures here. And as you've seen, the weather was definitely getting rough. But this is a map that we looked at as we're going up. They have signs like this going up the whole mountain and it's just great places to take pictures. So it was time to descend. And if you're a person like me, going down is harder because gravity is not on my side. And then you can see that the ground changes. So it goes from dirt, it has rocks, and it changes so much. So you have to be extremely careful. And some places were really steep. But of course we were excited because the hike was over and we were going back to eat. As you can see, we are passing people coming up. There are other routes to go up the mountain. However, of course we took the easiest route, the safest route because we are not true hikers. We made it back, took some great pictures. We had a nice time there and we went back into the shop. And so I always get postcards when I go there and mail it back. I mailed my parents one, my cousin one, and myself one. I picked the pictures, I did all the stamps that they had and sent it off. That was about $4 each. That wasn't bad at all. And here is my stick that I promised. This is when I climbed in 2018 all the way to the top and I got every single stamp available. Thank you for tuning in. 
I hope you come back and watch some more stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tia Marie.